for you dances. These are vibrant folk performing arts of Japan. One such example is onikenbai, which employs demon masks and swords. Oni demons are thought of as evil and as a symbol of dread. So why is it they are widely loved and have become the proud folk dance of a region? In one region of Northeast Japan, the demons dance. Furyu expresses something vibrant and colorful. Performed at festivals, incorporating colorful costumes, props, and lively music. These are Furyu dances. Spectators at festivals feel that vivid sense of Furyu. The dancers further embellish it. And this is how some Japanese festivals became resplendent folk performances. Kitakami is a city in Iwate Prefecture in northeast Japan. This city is said to be inhabited by demons. Kitakami has a population of about 90,000 and has abundant natural beauty. This facility sits on the edge of the city. House of Demons. Hi. こちらは日本全国でも珍しいオニをテーマにした博物館になります。海外で言うとデーモンですとか悪魔ですとかそういったものに近いのかなと思いますけれども、あの人の心見方によって全く変わるあの変幻自在の力を持つと言いますか、そ
This is the vigorous and climactic final dance. The performers are all local people. The accompanying musicians play lively flutes and a drum. And hand cymbals. Three dancers wear red masks. Two dancers each wear green masks and black masks. Only one dancer wears a white mask. Ichi Kenbai is always performed by the most skilled dancer. Ichi Kenbai というものは踊り手のリーダーでありまして、唯一白面をかぶって踊ることができます。The dancers generally comprise these eight people. There is also a clown role known as the kakata. Furyu dances are characterized by their colorful costumes. So, let's do the description of the description. From the top, it's a red color. It's a red color, but it's red, 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 red. These masks have been passed down for generations with great care. The red tusky is characteristic of Onikenbai. The chest plate displays a local symbol. The splendid painting on the back varies among schools of Onikenbai. The leader of the entire group is known as the Niwamoto. He's thoroughly versed in all aspects of Onikenbai. He represents the DNA of the group. Sunday this is the rehearsal space maintained by the local people. Rehearsal begins with the prayers of the Niwamoto. Here, local people gather to rehearse and to pass down old traditions to the younger generation. Everyone is rehearsing in earnest for a performance to take place in a week. The dance is intense, so it can only be done by young dancers. Why do the people of this region love Oni? 
and why have Oni been made into a local tradition? Generally, Oni in Japan have horns on their head. However, the masks used in Oni Kenbai do not have horns. There's a reason for this. The origins of Oni Kenbai go back 1,300 years. It's said that Enno Ozunu started the rigorous ascetic practice of Shugendo by fusing mountain worship with Buddhism. In order to spread Buddhism, he combined the chant and praise of Buddha called Nenbutsu with dancing. This is said to be the beginning of Oni Kenbai. The chanting which accompanies Oni Kenbai is Nenbutsu. There's also something else thought to have developed from Shugendo. Henbai is a unique step pattern. It's a type of incantation that dispels evil spirits by the special movement of the feet. Henbai are also used in Oni Kenbai. The origins of Oni Kenbai lie in dancing and chanting Nenbutsu in order to spread Buddhism. In ancient Japan, Oni did not imply devils. Oni implied a world, sometimes fortunate, sometimes disastrous, both beyond human understanding. In Oni Kenbai, the mask that represents Buddha was ornamented vividly and became an Oni. Oni Kenbai is with disease rampant worldwide, now is the time for Oni Kenbai to be performed. This is a gathering both of children who love Oni Kenbai and those who have danced in the past. This performance was enjoyed enormously, particularly since its long hiatus due to the pandemic. Here is the final dance, the climax of Ichikenbai. Thank you.
い感動した。いっぱいお客さんも来てくれて、みんな楽しんでくれたと思うので、良かったと思います。はい、まあ、皆さんもそうなんですけど、体に染みついてるので。音を一つでもなれば、体に勝手に動き出すので。まあ、とても。いい一日だなと思います。This special memorial monument honors Oniken by performers. This monument connects those involved in Oniken by over generations. Furyu dances are performing arts passed down by the bonds that connect the people of a region. Today, somewhere in Japan, people will be dancing for the happiness of all. <laughs>